Guten Yardening. We've been harvesting our broccoli and now we have too much to keep and eat fresh. So we have to store it the best way we know how, and that is to blanch it and freeze it. Well, so far this summer, we have harvested way more broccoli than we can eat while it's fresh. The most common way to store broccoli in the long term, up to about six months, is to freeze it. So I'm going to show you today how we freeze our broccoli, uh, and which I think is a pretty effective method of saving it. So the first thing we know about broccoli is that the little loopers, you know, those little caterpillars really enjoy broccoli, maybe more than some, maybe more than some of us. And so we want to make sure that we get those little loopers out of here. And the best way to get the bugs and the insects that could possibly be hiding in your broccoli out is to soak them in a brine. So that's just what we're going to do. We're going to add these broccoli florets that we're cutting right now to a brine that we're going to create of cold water. I recently watched someone throw the entire broccoli stem away. We're not going to do that. We're saving this and we're going to freeze it as well. We're going to take these broccoli florets and actually cut some of them a little bit smaller because these are a little too big. We're going to take these florets and we're going to put them into this water that we've made before we put it in the water, I should mention, if you have any bits, now here's a good example, any bad little bits on the broccoli, you can just cut that right off. The rest of it is still lovely. Now this is another one of those inexact science moments, but we have about a gallon of water and maybe four tablespoons of salt to create our brine. I'm just gonna stir it up just a little bit. Get it all dissolved, and then in goes our broccoli florets. And I cut these down to a size that is comfortable for us. Again, my children actually really like broccoli, and we steam it quite often. And I want to make sure that they're not too big because nobody wants to eat a huge piece of broccoli that won't even fit in the mouth. And um, if you are steaming these, which is the method we're going to use here in just a second in order to blanch them, if they're too big, they won't do a thorough job. Now we're going to leave it in this water for about 30 minutes. While we're waiting for the florets to do their thing in the brine, I'm going to show you how I handle the stem. Now this one you can see has a lot of smaller stems. They don't always look like this. Sometimes it's got more of that, just that middle stem here um, that you're working with. But just in general, we're going to do basically the same thing. We, we cut the florets off. We're going to cut the outer parts of the stem off as well. And again, we're going to save everything. So we get down to this main stem. And the stem itself has some heavier, thicker skin around it that's not going to taste so good. So if you have a nice little peeler, you can get in here and peel off that outer part. Let me move these out of the way. We'll peel off some of that outer skin and we'll cut this into the same like smaller pieces just like we cut the florets down. So we get that outer skin off, it won't be nearly as hard to eat. And since we're going to probably use this in a different dish than the florets, we don't really a lot of our way to eat it like this, but we might put it in soup. Um, we don't eat it just plain like this. Um, we will be taking care of the blanching process the same way, but we're going to store them separately. Once we have it all peeled off, we're going to go through and cut it into those smaller pieces that we can then steam. For the smaller pieces, if your peeler doesn't work, you can just go in with a knife and trim it down. Just get that outer skin off. So this is more of a preference. Do you need to pull off the outer skin uh, for these small ones? It's, it's your choice. If you don't mind, a little bit more texture, 
you certainly don't have to. Our stems are all peeled and our peels are going right into the compost. It may appear as though the broccoli multiplied, but that's because it cut down another head. So it's been 30 minutes and I have seen a few little critters, not too many, come out of the broccoli. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the broccoli out of here, put it in a strainer and rinse it off nicely. We wanna get the salt off of here. Don't need any salty broccoli. And now, I'm going to take this over to our steamer. Our steamer is ready, it's all heated up, and so we're going to add the broccoli. And we're going to let it steam for about five minutes. Now you can put this directly in boiling water and you can blanch it that way, it takes about three minutes. But we're trying to lose as few nutrients as possible by using this method. One of the other nice things about using a steamer, I don't have to search for the broccoli. You can go right into the ice bath and it's gonna sit in here for five minutes. Once our broccoli is finished in the cold bath, they've cooled off completely, we're going to gather them up, strain them out, and then lay them on some paper towel so we can get some of that excess moisture out. And we're going to pat this dry. It won't be perfect. You can see some of the moisture coming out there. And this is going directly into the freezer bag. They recommend that you put the broccoli in a single layer so that whenever it comes time to freeze, it actually breaks up more easily afterward when you're ready to use it. And so we package it in our freezer bag, get the excess air out of it, and seal it up. And one little detail that we've forgotten in the past that makes life just a little bit easier is to put the date on it and say what it is. Now I know you can tell that this is broccoli, but labeling your frozen food is not a bad idea and it helps to figure out just how long this broccoli is gonna be good for. We're gonna use the same process for the stems, five minutes in the steamer and five minutes in the ice bath. After just a few minutes of processing these broccoli stems and florets, we have a finished product ready to go into the freezer that again should last us for up to six months, except that we'll eat it a lot faster than that. Now I'm not done yet. I have quite a few more heads of broccoli to process and I'll show you what that looks like now. We got a total of three nice sized bags of broccoli florets, which we're going to get right in the freezer as quickly as possible. You don't want to leave them out. You want to get them in the freezer right after they've come out of the cold water. And a nice bag of the broccoli stems, again, which we can use in soups, or we can use however we want to. Not too bad for a little broccoli harvest, and a total of about mm, an hour and a half's worth of time because of the soaking. We hope you enjoyed this video, maybe learned a way to store some of your food that you didn't know before, or if you have your own method for freezing your broccoli, we'd love to hear about it. We just want to make sure we keep as many nutrients in the broccoli as possible and that it tastes as fresh as possible when we bring it out and steam it to eat. If you enjoyed this video, please leave us a like and a comment and subscribe. And remember, when you're with us, you're good to grow. While you're here, head over to teespring.com slash stores slash gutenjardening to check out some of the awesome Guten Yardening merchandise. Support our channel as it grows and show off in style. Have a great day, everyone.